Well, we're here at Shane's place. Thanks for having us, Shane, and thank you so much for taking us around, showing us some key sites, and talking about the stories, the Purako behind those names and, and features in the landscape. There's been a real resurgence over the last few years um, about renaming or bringing back original mm. place names, um, particularly where those names um, are European. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I think, uh, actually, I know that this resurgence is part of the reclamation of identity through uh, the activities of the hapu and iwi across the land as they've worked their way through their treaty claims. Uh, the process of treaty claims requires them to look at their histories, research, and in doing so, it really uh, reaffirms the need to make connect back to land, back to spaces, back to geographical features that those places where we belong, mm. the places which our ancestors named for events, for for things that that speak directly to us, uh, us as Tangata Finwa, uh, people of the land, spirit of the land, essence of the land. You know, the land speaks to us, and so when we see our names reflected in the land, we can Ghana, we can. We can make an attachment, a connection, if you like, to those spaces, and those spaces talk to us. But when we have spaces that are, or have been renamed, um, and there's lots of examples of, of towns and cities in this land which have been renamed, um, names of people who have never been here, mm. names of people who have no connection to Aotearoa New Zealand and this more than anything has, has given rise to the call not only from uh, Hapu and Iwi but also from good old-fashioned New Zealanders too looking to um, to talk to and affirm our identity through appropriate names. I was, that was my next question you know so you talk about the connection that iwi have to places, but um, what, what about people that, that are of European descent, you know, why should it matter to them? Well it should matter to them because they're part of New Zealand, they're part of Aotearoa, and our identity, uh, the who we are, matters. And who we are um, in the past uh, has given rise to who we are today. Mm. And some of the names within our country reflect nothing of who we are. Mm. Some lord in some distant principality on the other side of the globe who had never come here, who had no influence here, has given a grand reception in, in regards to a name of a city or province or district. Now that doesn't seem right mm. to everyday New Zealanders. Um, well, it's an interesting discussion. It's definitely something I think you guys should continue with in your own classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, but thank, so thank you for for giving us your thoughts on that and um, and starting off that conversation. And again, thank you so much for You're welcome. sharing just at the tip of the iceberg of what what you what knowledge you have of place names in your rohe. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora tata.